Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> really? <laughs> afternoon, good morning, good evening. I don't know when they're going to be, be watching this. So, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever. <laughs> and welcome to Purple Radio. Um, I think we need to try that again. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually. Uh, hello. And welcome to Purple Radio. Durham's official student radio. <laughs> Should we try this again a bit later? No, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Okay. okay. Want to try it one more time or not? Yeah, let's try one more time. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, hello. And welcome to Purple Radio. Durham's official student radio station. I'm Gabriel Radis, I'm the station manager for this year. And I'm Alex, and I'll be the assistant station manager. We've put together a little promotional video to show you all the things that the station has been up to during lockdown. Wonderfully, radio is quite flexible. Um, so we've been able to do a lot of stuff from home since March. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, you can listen to a lot of our stuff on Purple Radio On Demand, which is on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, a bunch of other uh, major podcast platforms, obviously. Um, yeah. And at Purple, we're not just about broadcasting podcasts or our live stream. We've also got a fab sports team who debate the latest matches. We've got a music team who organise live events and performances um, and a news team who investigate breaking news both locally and nationally. So there's really something for everyone at Purple. Yeah, and if you're not keen on doing sort of broadcasts to thousands of people each week, uh, we've got a bunch of teams in the back uh, who are all integral to Purple's success. Um, we've got promotions, which Alex did beforehand, um, which is fab. Uh, graphics, production, broadcasting standards, tech, um, all amazing people and all really sort of different interesting ways of getting involved in student media and broadcasting media. Yeah, we really look forward to meeting more of you next year. And for now, we hope you enjoy the video. No jazz hands. <laughs> How did that happen? How did you go from this event to, to wanting to make a documentary out of it? I didn't go out kayaking wanting a humpback whale to, to reach on me. And then when it did, it was very strange to see it go viral. Today I'll be reading some testimonials sent to me by students of colour at Durham, documenting incidents of microaggressions and racial discrimination that they've suffered on campus. Hi, Gabby Logan here, formerly of Durham University and Hillbead College. I graduated in 1995 uh, in law. And I know that this time of year at Durham is just magical. It's not just the river and the weather and the sports and the balls and the excitement finishing exams. It truly is a wonderful place. What would your response be to the Prime Minister who has effectively accused you and, and other MPs who disagree with his handling of it, of politicising the situation? Uh, well, politics is life, isn't it? It's not politicising. There's people, people who have contacted me have um, many of the emails have started by saying, I didn't vote for you, or they'll say, I've never written to my uh, member of parliament before, but I am mm. so angry that this, is, this has happened. Um, where you argue that, argue that financial prosperity depended on Britain being a bridgehead of the European Union. 28 years later, um, have you changed much as an economist? <laughs> that is a really brilliant, brilliant, Brilliantly researched and very um, well structured question, Gabriel. We've had people call in and talk about their experiences and how they're doing. I was wondering about that and also whether you think that radio and radio shows at this time can sort of act as a coming together community tool. We really hope so. I mean, that's what BBC Radio would like to be able to do. We really hope so that we can do that. That's, I think, why we've been categorised as essential workers in this, because information is essential. And when, when equality, inequalities are so deep-rooted within a society, it really takes a 
almost a spectacular event or that kind of show to really get people thinking. So if the, there are four police officers... It seems like Leeds and, and West Brom will be in the Premier League next season, but we can't, we can't forget the fact that Leeds United are, um, are use, useful. Um, in, there are words here, but my brain is not using them. <laughs> we can't forget. We can't forget that that Leeds United aren't uh, aren't too. Uh, you, there's a phrase there. Leeds United bottle the league quite often. Um, <laughs> is what I was trying to say. We can't forget that. Um, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do some useful editing in there to make me sound legible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we can't just move on. <laughs> Well, thank you for having me, uh, guys. I hope you're all enjoying your lockdown. Um, I'm going to introduce to you my new single, Do That, produced by Logan. It's a smash hit, man. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. No wala, no wala. Je t'aime, baby, je t'aime. My best. Is that better? No. Now it's, now it's made you really dark. Like, very dark. I think they should go into bloopers at the end. <laughs>